It is night two of the Democratic National Convention in Chicago, but the spotlight is being shared up here in Milwaukee. Here is a look at the crowds as they lined up outside of Pfizer Forum this afternoon, where Vice President Kamala Harris is rallying tonight. Harris and her running mate, Minnesota Governor Tim Walz, are making yet another visit to the battleground state of Wisconsin. And that the Democratic ticket would detour in the middle of the DNC to rally here in Wisconsin underscores how much they value the Badger State's swing state votes. The CBS 58's Adam Reif reports from the rally and joins us now live at Pfizer Forum. Adam. Okay. More Natalie Jessup, good evening. This started as a dance party. It turned into a DNC watch party and then a political rally. In fact, one person I overheard say this is like being at a rave. People were really excited. It was a very long day and it still continues outside right now. We'll get to that in just a bit. Thousands of people lining up hours before Kamala Harris and Tim Walls took the stage here. It started with a DJ dance party to get people going. And then when the DNC primetime programming started in Chicago, they put it up on the big screens here at Fiserv and people watched along. During a break in the action, Tim Walls came out and gave about a five minute speech to get the crowd fired up. They went back into the DNC programming, watched some of the roll calls as the delegates cast their ballots, waiting around for Wisconsin and Governor Evers to cast their delegates as well in Chicago. When that was all said and done, that's when Kamala Harris and Tim Walls came out together. They were pretty fired up. There was a lot going on today in an eventful speech. At one point, Palestinian protesters tried to interrupt her. There was a medical emergency in one of the front rows they had to pause for. That woman turned out to be okay. But two themes that Kamala Harris kept going after was the need to move forward and the danger in electing Donald Trump. Take a listen. So Wisconsin, we have 77 days until the election. 77 days. And look, we know this is going to be a tight race until the very end. We have some hard work ahead of us. <laughs> we have hard work ahead of us, but we like hard work. Hard work is good work. Now, there were long lines, as we mentioned, outside the arena. The first group in line said they got there at 6 a.m. That is about 10 hours before the doors open. Once they did open up the doors, people just flooded in. It was first come, first serve. For a time, they had some of the upper deck cordoned off with uh, some of the curtains. They eventually had to take all of those down because every seat that was available was taken by some of the people here. Now, in Chicago, the Wisconsin delegation now, yesterday like told me they the want to continue board. some of the energy that they have in Chicago. They wanted to translate back here at home. We certainly saw that. Several people told me today that they either weren't going to vote at all or weren't going to vote for President Biden at the top of the ticket, but that has all changed in the past few weeks. But I said that if, if we had a different candidate, I would run and I would, you know, just uh, door knock and all of that. So I'm very happy to have a uh, new representation, fresh representation. As a woman of color, it's, it's great to see. I'm very excited. Honestly, I wasn't going to vote before this. I was like, oh, I may not even vote. And now I'm really excited. I have my mom out here with me. Now, this event only ended about 15 minutes ago. The crews are making quick work of it, and everybody got out very quickly because in Deer District right now, they put up the DNC programming on the big screens. They want to have another watch party outside for some of those primetime speeches. That includes former First Lady Michelle Obama and then former President Barack Obama. So plenty of people still outside. We're going to head there shortly. We'll have more coming up tonight at 10 or whenever the DNC programming is over. Live here at Pfizer Forum, Adam Rive, CBS 58 News.